Good morning, good morning to all my Facebook friends. This is Gary Gunn here and today I'm going to share with you on a very, very interesting tip which I've learned along the way through my many, many years in my network marketing journey. And this topic today is how you see and build your network marketing business determines the size of your team, the size of your business, and the size of your wealth. Now, why do I say this and why do I make this point so um, direct and straight? Is because, you see, I always would like to give a story. I like to share um, lessons using stories. And this story I always tell people, I say, now, if think about this, if today, if today you were to be awarded the master franchise, okay, of by the McDonald Corporation, you know McDonald's, right? The Golden Archers, McDonald Burgers, they have, you know, the desserts and all that. Now, if McDonald were to ask you to expand the McDonald business, okay, um, and, and the business of McDonald's, as you know, is fast food, right? So they are the leading, they are not the first, they are not the, obviously not the best in terms of the quality of food. In fact, McDonald's food is far from quality <laughs> as far as health is concerned. But they are the biggest. Now, when they come to you and they say, Mr. Uh, Lewis, um, I would like you to take over the McDonald's uh, expansion program in Asia, let's say, or in America or in South America. Now, if they were to give you the responsibility to expand their business in your country, let's say the Philippines maybe, what would you be doing? Would you be looking at McDonald's corporation and the business of selling the burger? Would you be going door to door trying to sell people the product, which is the burger? Because obviously McDonald's do not sell cars. McDonald do not sell a uh, bicycle. McDonald do not sell computers. McDonald is in the fast food business. We all know that. McDonald is in the burgers, um, ice cream, you know. So would you go door to door or going to governments in your country or going to ministry or going to, to business associates, business partners, business association, would you go there to tell them to buy burgers, to buy um, uh, your fast food? Or would you be going there to show them a mega plan, a big picture of how to have every nook and corner of the place that you are going to expand having a McDonald's outlet. In other words, are you going out there to sell the burgers or the product of the company or you are going out there to recruit business partners to invest in the McDonald's corporation to get the license to operate the McDonald's business in every nook and corner in the country, in the region that you are living in. Now, when you start to think of the McDonald Corporation story, like what I've told you just now, now put that McDonald idea, that McDonald business, put it into your current network marketing business. Ask yourself this question. The network marketing company is like McDonald's. It's now giving you the responsibility to expand that business in your region, in your country. Now, in most of the network marketing, like the one that I'm involved with, they allow us to expand our business globally. There is no territorial borders. You know, you, 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 are, you are not restricted by a certain place that you can do it. We can do it anywhere in the world. In fact, if, if I can go to Mars tomorrow, I can even do it in Mars, right? But the question here is, now the company has already given you the responsibility to expand their business all over the world. My question to you is, are you focused only on that micro topic of the product in your network marketing? I don't know. It can be supplements. It can be facial products. It can be you know, a telecommunication. It can also be water system. So if you are only focusing on that micro topic called the product, 
it's just like in the McDonald Corporation, you are going door to door and you are approaching business, huge business partners, telling them to buy burgers or chocolate sundaes. If you are focusing strictly on the topic of that micro topic of that product, this is exactly what you are doing. Therefore, if you were to reflect on your current state of business and you are not happy with where your business is growing, you are not having a, ne a network that is thriving, you are not having passive income coming to you, it's probably because you are only focused on that micro topic of promoting the product that the company is selling. But the company has engaged you to expand the business all over the world. Just like McDonald's Corporation has engaged you to expand their business in your region, in your country, and you are talking about burgers. You, in a way, should be talking about the franchise, selling the franchise of McDonald's, having opening every single um, nook and corner in your city, in your country, in your region with a McDonald's outlet. So likewise, in your network marketing business, are you going out there to tell people about the business of your business? That is how people can profit from it, how people can change their life financially, having freedom, which is part of the product most of the time in network marketing. Are you telling them that? If you are not, then you are just telling the micro picture and not the bigger picture. And therefore, you will realize Again, I want to say nothing wrong about telling people about burgers if you are talking about McDonald's business. Yeah, because frankly, what, what else to talk about in McDonald's if you are not talking about their burgers product? But if you are going to expand it big, the product should be kept to a 10% and 90% to be telling people why they should be investing in your franchise, in your business. Why should they spend hours away from their family, away from the TV, away from the things that they like to do and come and journey with you to build this business? You should be selling them a dream rather than just selling them a McDonald's burger. <laughs> okay, so I hope today's session with this story of the McDonald's business, I hope this story gives you another look at your business in the network marketing industry because I see so many people commit what I call as business suicide, especially network marketing, because they have these two options, the product of the company and the business of the company. Nothing wrong. A lot of people ask me, which should you do? If you ask me, I will choose the business because when I focus on the business of my business, it will always sell the product. But if you just sell the product, people will not necessarily build the business. Why should they? I'm just interested to buy your product. Why do you ask me to attend meetings? Why do you ask me to go for road trips with you? Why do you ask me to attend a leadership development program? No reason to that will only come in if they uh, see the vision of your business. Alright guys, so I hope this little story gives you another eye-opening idea in your network marketing business so that you can really dictate and change the amazing journey that you are supposed to take. Okay, there's no right and no wrong. It's just so happened that I've got years of experience doing this business and I've seen some people that makes it very big and some people just floundered away, you know. And nothing wrong with that. It's just that they took a wrong journey. Alright guys, so I hope today's session gives you a, a enlightenment in your business. And if you like today's sharing, I strongly uh, encourage you to share this video so that it may just touch somebody's life somewhere out there. Alright, so with this, Gary Gunn here once again, live from beautiful Malaysia. I wish you the best and God bless you. Have a great day. Bye.